Hey Grox! And Nagling! Hi both, how you doing? Let me know if the music's too loud. I'm just like in the corner here vibing to it, really enjoying the music. I'm good, I'm very excited. Very excited. Hey, Cyborg! Satan Korean noodles and other tummy is lovely and warm. Oh, nice! Yeah, uh, let me know if the music's too loud. I'm absolutely adoring it, so it's not bothering me so much, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's if you can even hear it. I did test beforehand, but... Uh, <sighs> with the amount of tech problems I've had today, who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna um, kick things off, I think. Um, first off, come on. There we go. So, before I actually get into playing the game, I'm gonna do a little bit about the menu and some of the settings because I think there's some stuff that's really worth calling out. Also, um, as a special one-off, uh, the raffle for tonight will be a copy of this game when the game comes out. I can't pre-order it, but I will, um, I will purchase the winner of the raffle, a copy of Narita Boy, um, when it comes out later this year. But just checking, you can all hear me, yes? <laughs> oh good. Hey Cypher, how you doing? Right, cool. So. First off. Um, I'll check that out in a minute. <laughs> Dare I ask, Cyborg? So, um, the thing I wanted to point out was this. This game has a CRT soft filter, which is so fucking cool. Um, yeah, if the music needs to come down or anything like that, uh, I'll turn it down a little bit actually, because I am fucking loving it, but it's quite loud for me, so I'm guessing it's pretty loud for you folks. Aid Edmondson after young ones but three bottoms. Oh neat. I like Aid Edmondson. <laughs> CRT filter hell yeah. Hey Duke, how you doing friend? Oh, um, yeah. Something that I put together specifically because of how much I love this menu music. For the record, I am totally doing that at my desk right now. But yeah, so this is Narita Boy. It is a game which I backed on Kickstarter. <laughs> Cat! Um, and I have been super hype for this game. So the fact that I get to play a demo of it and get to share it with you all is really exciting for me. I have deliberately not played any of this as much as I've wanted to until I could do it on stream for you all. So that you could enjoy me being flappy and excited about a, a game that is basically my childhood. Um, in terms of references and things like that. Screen vibration. Ooh. Um, let's turn that off on the basis that I don't want to get motion sick on stream. <laughs> um, cool. Hmm. 
Seriously, I could just stay on the menu. The menu music is so good. Hey, Buff. Thank you for the treat for Port Fuss. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Here we go. Oh, the, the autosave is cool. That's rad. Oh, I'm very excited. Please don't crash. <laughs> Old York in the early 80s. Because who doesn't love a bit of ramen? Right, really. <laughs> Does look a bit like Lemmy, doesn't it? Well, this doesn't look good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fair. Oh, shit. The silent eclipse. The creator has forgotten. Him has returned. As in his infernal majesty? Dude, I think you need less chilies in your ramen. Activate the Narita Boy protocol. Oh, Narita Boy protocol activated. Him from Powerpuff Girls, yeah, could be. Isn't it though, Duke? At the same time, on the outskirts of Old New York. friend turn off that little machine and go straight to bed or tomorrow i'm giving it back to your father Oof. that's all you need to spend all day glued to a screen go to sleep now jeez you're not my mum oh yeah spot the references folks oh yeah uh, I'm, I'm trying really hard not to get too excited. <laughs> ah, the Panjo Kazooie School of Voice Acting. Isn't it, dude? That was a bit loud, and I'm sorry about that. Yeah, who would be stuck to a screen all day? <coughs> yeah, definitely not me. Okay. It's saying not responding. I'm really hoping it doesn't crash right as we get into the actual gameplay. That would be devastating. And would be par for the course for any streams that I do, let's face it. Come on, there we go, yes. Arrival in the Digital Kingdom, Heroes Summit. Hey, Shanus, how we doing, friend? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh. Like little things like the signs swinging and the reflection of the light on them. Oh! Hey, Zathia, how you doing, friend? Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh the sound. Okay. Come on, Hobbs. Stop getting horny over the, the design of the game and actually play it. WASD, neato, good to know. Uh, Spacebar, I'm guessing, to jump? No, guess not. It's very aesthetic, yeah. Oh, just in time, Narita boy. The flag we programmed with the hero function gave us some wiggle room to assemble this switch and force your entry through segments of old coke. 
Well, that sounds right, it should be FBLR. Indeed, Cypher. This region is barely controlled by the Hackernauts. You can travel through it with some confidence, but proceed with caution. Him and his Hackernauts are tirelessly running through lines of code to try and find you. Oh yeah, so this is basically Tron, but slightly different. And I'm a big Tron nerd, so... Uh, very definitely happy squig noises right now. This region is barely controlled. Yep, okay. Um, pressing this button will open the door. Inside, waiting for you, is a holographic module of Motherboard. Protective mother of us and all the programs in the Digital Kingdom. <laughs> Naught. Indeed, Cyborg. So slightly out of frame. Oh, that is my fault, and I'm sorry about that, Sophia. Um, hang on. Give me a sec. You'll lose sound for a second. Uh, but if I go to... Where are you, Nuke Boy? There you are. Just doing it live. Is that better? What the fuck is an acronym? Uh, there we go. Is that better, Zapio? It was kind of hard to tell if I'd got it in the right place um, from the menu screen because the menu screen's got uh, like a, a black border. So yeah, that, that would have bugged me too. Pressing this button will open the door. Yep, okay, so. She's in the capital of the digital kingdom, sustaining the trichroma, overseeing code, closing breaches and fixing bugs. Oh, the character's being blurry. That'll be the CRT filter. I can turn that off though. Let's see if I can do it from here. I can. Uh, boop. Oh, okay. No, that um that puts the CRT filter on apparently. Um, if that's going to be problematic for people, let me know and I'll turn it off. Um. But it does actually make them look a little less blurry because, you know, everything's the same level of blur. Out of focus was um, what you were aiming for. Started Dawn of War 2 again. Awesome! Well, good luck with it. Uh, okay, so... Since the arrival of the Stallions, the Digital Kingdom's code has been unstable. The Trichrome Beam too. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Objectives. Open the door. That seems like a solid objective to start with. Talk to Motherboard. Okay. So I can find my objectives by hitting the tab key. That's nice. And they auto um, disappear, so F's my interact. Door is open. Yay! Yeah, retribution's a pain for crashing. Um that was one of the problems that we had with it um okay in we go oh god the tutorial man okay space bar is jump cool i just wasn't allowed to jump where i was so this a metroidvania um this seems like a bad plan. Oh no, we're all good. That seems like a long way to fall. <laughs> yes, I figured that one out already, game. Oh, wow. That's pretty. No jumping at the Heroes Summit. Exactly. 
this, this is super pretty. Um, and honestly, I think the CRT filter makes it even prettier. <laughs> Just, this has got a, an aesthetic and it is, it is waving it in front of your faces. It's so good. I like that. This must be motherboard. This is a pre-recorded message for the true digital hero, Narita Boy. Oh, it's uh, Motherboard's answering machine. I am Motherboard, supervisor program of the Digital Kingdom. I was designed line by line by the creator and my source code emanates from the architectural core of the Trichroma. I was one of the first sentient programs they awoke in the Digital Kingdom. If you're listening to this message, that means you've received our call and have decided to come to our aid. Welcome. What you see is the visual metaphor of the trichroma, the beam that emanates from its core and the three rays that rise up from our kingdom's source code. Each beam has a definite function and occupies a specific region in, of the kingdom. Each beam is a computational entity that creates a system of programs around it. These systems are called the houses of the Trichroma, and there are three of them, just as there are three creator beams. The yellow house beam, a region of code that spans the desert simulation. The blue house beam, the regions of the eternal rains and the blue simulation. And finally, the red house beam, the most powerful and disruptive house of all. Why is it always the Fire Nation? Am I right? The Red House Beam is the powerful equilibrium that supports the Trichroma architecture. But him, the supervisor program that used to manage the data dump, lost his mind and betrayed us. He craved supremacy over the Red House. We defeated him and he was expelled from the Red Beam along with other programs known as Stallions. But they've returned, Narita boy, which is why we've called upon you. We need a hero who can wield the Techno Sword, the only blade forged with Trichroma beams, able to destroy Stallion Code. Okay, this is this is so fucking rad. <laughs> the fire beam invaded. E everything was um, perfect and harmonious until the fire beam attacked. You must go to the Techno Father's castle. They're the supervisor programs who forged the Techno Sword. You must claim it from them and free us from the stallion menace. But that is not all we ask. Him has inflicted still more damage. Hey Modhell, how you doing friend? Okay, get the techno sword. Um, and go to the uh, techno father's castle to get the techno sword. We can do that. Seriously, this is so pretty. <laughs> I'm calm. I'm totally calm. Now, Slow has already played this demo and came and told me that it's not very long, so I don't know how long this stream's gonna be, but I kinda wanna just, like, do the whole demo. I'm guessing it'll probably be about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Add a little bit extra for me to stop every five minutes and flap. recognize that guy. I'm talking about him, the sorcerer, our old supervisor brother from the house of the red beam. He's caused huge disruption. Motherboard will explain everything. You have a holographic console with a double ansible to contact her. Do I? Whenever you find a holographic console, you can communicate with Motherboard. Neat. What's more, the encryption is sufficiently complex to prevent him's hacker noughts from being able to tap into your dialogue flow. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mod Hale. Hopefully me being overly excited about a, a video game that heavily references the 80s will um, cheer you up a little bit. So, 
We have a universal communicator, essentially. Hey, motherboard. Immense sorrow runs through my code, seeing how the first of the creator's 13 memories has been destroyed. This demolished totem gives access to the creator's memories. The creator placed them in different parts of the kingdom as a security measure. If something were to happen to the creator, the digital hero would be able to immerse himself in his memories to reactivate the digital kingdom's passive memory and thus keep the source code updated. Now we need them because him has erased the creator's memories, the 13 that make up his meta-neuronal network the creator can't remember. The creator has forgotten that he sustains this kingdom, and because he is forgetting and the equilibrium in the trichoma threatens to fail, him and his stallions have once again invaded us. How he managed to erase his memories, we don't know. It's a mystery that maybe you'll solve as you travel through them. You'll be a psych... It does say Psychonaut. He'll be a Psychonaut and a hero. Oh my god, we're playing Psychonauts. But 80s Psychonauts. Just call me Raz. But remember, if the creator permanently forgets, the digital kingdom will be lost. Him will control the powerful red beam subjugating us to his darkest desires. The Trichroma will be destabilized and will be under his rule. Even if you kill thousands of stallion programs, remember that only the creator can totally eliminate the stallion code that is gradually appearing in thousands of lines of source code. You need to find the 12 remaining totems, piece together their code and journey within them. Only by unlocking them can the creator retrieve his memory. So hurry. You're going to give them the old razzmatazz? I am. I am. One last thing, son of the trichroma. It's not possible to travel to the first memory through this broken totem, but you don't have to retrieve it. The 12 remaining memories are sufficient for the creator to remember. But you should know that there are five backup floppy disks in the digital kingdom. If you find them, you can rebuild this first totem. We will be eternally grateful to you if you manage to retrieve his first memory too. Cool. So we've got a little collect side quest. Not necessarily required, but it's there for us, which is neat. Okay, what we got here? Nothing here. Off we go. Oh, hello, big friend. Are you big friend? Can I talk to you? I guess not. Oh, that's not good. Narita boy, we haven't introduced ourselves. My brother programs and I are agents of the capital. Motherboard coded us to move through the digital kingdom, investigating the mysteries of our kingdom's source code. Neat, that sounds like a fun job. We also help any program in the digital kingdom adjust to its code when necessary. Adjust its code when necessary. I wanted to warn you about this simple but malicious stallion script that surges up from the ground. <gasps> oh, oh, cool! Jump and dodge it, but don't try to destroy it. We don't know why, but this code has infinite layers of complexity that renders it indestructible. Oh, that shit! Fucking zombie cookies all over again. There's a wall climb! Oh shit. There we go. Flawless. I've actually 
actually never played a Metro Metroidvania with my uh, keyboard before, so this is a a new experience in a number of ways. Make sure you rebuff your firewall core network with nanocycles. <laughs> exactly. Oh, well, that's mean. Can I reach that one? No, I can't. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's try this this way. There we go. Binary pastures. Oh my god, look at the sheepy! Oh my god, it's an electric sheep! <sighs> okay, so we don't we still don't know if androids dream of electric sheep, but apparently squigs do. Look at the little sheepy! Oh, I wanna pet it. I can't pet it. That's disappointing. Oh, there's more of them! <gasps> electric sheep farmer. This is great. Okay, that's locked. Ah, yes. You'll need a techno key to go through this door. These monoliths are encrypted slots. Well, I'm together with the electric sheep in my electric dreams now, Cyborg, and I fucking love that song for the record. No idea how excited I was when we went to see the Human League live and I got to listen to it. I would love to go see the Human League live again, actually. They were really, really good. One of the best bands I've seen live. Hey, Rocket, how you doing, friend? Look at the electric sheepies. They're so cute. These monoliths are encrypted slots. Inside them is an age-old program as ancient as Motherboard, an old woman known as Baba. Baba who? Oh no, okay, just Baba. Known as Baba, who, by the way, is very pleasant. All the programs of this region know her, and she'll safeguard anything that is entrusted to her. Aww. Help the Techno Fathers and the priests of the portal. Okay, so we gotta visit Baba. Oh, cyborg. Don't get me started. I'm gonna have some tea after this. Um, because I had a massive lunch, so I wasn't very hungry. <gasps> Digital burps! This game has everything! Oh, seriously, it's so pretty. There's so much to just sort of take in. Uh, I, I didn't... I've been following the development progress of this game. Because, um... For those of you that didn't hear me say this earlier, I backed this on Kickstarter. Um, I think it was a couple of years ago when they put it up on Kickstarter. But I backed it and have been following its uh, development progress with interest. Um, and this is just... It's... It's more than I could have hoped for from the, the gifts and stuff and the announcements that they put out in Kickstarter. <laughs> hey, RNG, how you doing? This is a demo mod, Hale. Um, but the full game is due to come out early this year, um, which is why I decided, because this is a special um, off-schedule stream, that I would do um, a giveaway of a copy of this game for anybody that wants it uh, when it comes out. So I'm basically going to buy a second copy of the game um, to give to whoever wins the raffle. <laughs> Model's just like, yes, please. <laughs> I'm glad you think so, Buff. I'm always a little bit worried about 
being too excited um, when it comes to these games. Well, anything really, because I don't want people to think I'm a nutter, but let's face it, I am a nutter and I'm very passionate. And this is something I'm very passionate about. Now, we've got our first enemy here. We don't have a weapon yet. Um, and this is pretty neat. Now, I'm a big fan of a game called Hyper Light Drifter, which has a similar aesthetic to this. Um, and they have a, an enemy type that looks a lot like this. So either that enemy type is gonna, uh, th this enemy is gonna play like that enemy type, or, or it's gonna play completely differently and I'm gonna try and do something to this thing that is gonna get me killed. Time for a bit of science. <laughs> Oh no! I was right. Panic! <sighs> okay, so it does. It plays like, um, like the enemy type from the other game, for, from Hyper Light Drifter, which isn't a bad thing. Okay, looks like we're about to get a wappy stick. Can we go in there? No. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ah, here we go. Gotta open the door first. Yeah, me too, Cyborg. Um, I think Narita Boy, believe it or not, may end up being another one of those um, games that I've backed on Kickstarter that I love so much that I cosplay the player character. Because I cosplayed the Hyper Light Drifter uh, player character for a convention the year it came out, and it went down really well. Um, but yeah, I might do a Narita Boy cosplay and make the Techno Sword. <laughs> ah, the Sword Temple, with plenty of sword motifs, where you get a gun. Oh, this, this is nice. Look at that floor. Just like, tiny sprinkling of Tron. I love it. Oh, the background. So there's your beams. boy access to the underground garden is restricted you'll find the access techno key in the higher levels of the castle okie dokie come on there we go <clears throat> find the access techno key to the underground i do like that it reminds you what you've got to do as well that uh, like what the different buttons are it doesn't just go okay i've told you once so you can uh sod off and figure it out for yourself now because I'm very forgetful you see I mean you may have noticed that whenever it's a, a portal that you've got to press W to enter I don't do it straight away because I just try to run through it because I'm clever <clears throat> oh this music now I'm a big synthwave fan so I would say this, but I am definitely music horny for this music. Holy crap, this is good. Hey, Primeby, how you doing, friend? <clears throat> okay, another cool thing. The thing that he does when he um, interacts with Motherboard, um, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's the way they... Um, do their prayers in Japan when they're saying a quick prayer to a um, come on brain a shrine so he, he's basically motherboard is basically like a shrine maiden and he's doing the the shrine thing it's really cool I like this Narita boy I'm sorry to not be with you at this time <laughs> your call is important to us please leave a message and must sustain the harmony of the trichroma from the capital of the digital kingdom, close to its core. Him is dumping petabytes of corrupt code on a subtle level. I am warding off his attacks. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm uh, glad you had fun in More Thunder. I know a lot of folks playing that at the minute. Um, it's not really my kind of game, but uh, I'm glad that folks are enjoying it. 
Beyond this door is the priest's portal. You must cross it. It will lead you to the church of the strange monolith. Oh my god. The strange monolith. Alright, yes, please. I love something a bit strange. For I myself am the strange and unusual. In this region, you'll find a new creator's memory. To reach the priest's portal, you'll need the access techno key. The priests are prayer programs that keep the portal aligned. They entrusted the key to Baba, an ancient program slumbering near the castle. Hello, tall friend. We pray, brother, because prayer redirects the data flow, stabilizes and synchronizes it with the trichroma. Uh, Baba is a very, very old program. Um, oh, that sounds nice, primary. Um, yeah, Baba is a very old program who uh, lives somewhere that we haven't been yet. Um, I am Narita Boy. I am the hero. <clears throat> I know, isn't it fab, Mortale? <sighs> and yes, it is kind of mechanic, you see. Okie dokie, Rocket, you enjoy your pizza. Though I suppose, seeing as you're popping it in the oven, I hope your pizza is cooked perfectly. Prayer is algorithmic mysticism, ansible links, chemical electrodynamics, embracing the creator in myriad binary impulses. Oh, that's kind of poetic and I love it. <clears throat> totally calm, totally calm. All hail the Omnissiah, yeah. Okay, so this one be locked. Can't go over there. Oops, I fell. Anything over there? No. Hey, hands. How you doing? Uh, yeah, I really wanted to play the demo of Narita Boy, but I wanted to do it on stream for everybody, so I went, you know what, sod it, I'm streaming tonight. <laughs> I love the music too, Mod Hale. It's so pretty. Uh, okay, so... Eat. Going down. Retro wave tech priests, yeah. Doors locked. Anything over here? No. So, we need to find Baba. We need to get the Techno Sword. We need to find the totems. Okay. So, we need to find the Techno Key for Baba. Because until we do that, we can't do anything else. Oh, hey, Mum Squig, thank you for the treat for Porthos. How you doing? Porthos is just like, what was that? <clears throat> can't get that way. Okay. Too far. Oh, shit. No, a bit close. A bit too close. Can we go this way? We can. Oh, oh no! I drowned. <laughs> okay, that that was uh, that was cool. That is a that is a good. You died. Oh, didn't go this way before, did I? Let's do that. 
<gasps> Look at the peoples. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yes. Look at that. Welcome, Narita boy. The Techno Sword awaits you. We forged it the day the stallions were expelled from the Digital Kingdom. We told ourselves that if they ever returned, we would need all the concentrated power of the Trichroma to stand up to them. And of course, a very special hero from beyond the source code to wield it. At the end of the hall, take the other elevator that will lead you to the Techno Sword. We're getting a sword! <laughs> <gasps> Pretty! Oh my god! Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, I'm totally calm. get me when I'm on a different floor. <laughs> I needed to test, you know? Oh shit! I hit the wrong button. It's really cool, isn't it, Modhale? I really like the CRT filter. Yeah, it, it's got a, a CRT filter on it, um, RNG. It, honestly, hang on, I'll turn it off again for a second. Um, I don't think it looks quite as good without the CRT filter on. You see what I mean? I think it looks way better actually with it on. There we go. <clears throat> there. <gasps> oh look! Oh, so pretty! Sword. Hey, Slow. I'm being very excited. I heard. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I being too loud? No, it's fine. We're getting a sword. Hang on a second, folks. Please enjoy the cool music. Slow was hungry. Okay. Save like icon as a walkman. Yeah, it's so cool, isn't it? Right. <clears throat> what did I miss while I was uh, just doing a science? Yes, yeah, Slow was hungry and he was like, are you gonna eat? He thinks I've got maybe 30 to 40 minutes left of the demo based on where I am, but we'll see. <gasps> Look at them, they're so cool! Hey Porthos, do you want to come and sit with me? Come on then! Up up! Come on! <laughs> hey! Oh shit! Oh 
Oh dear. Um. Excuse me a second, folks. Porthos has um killed my keyboard. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> clumsy bugger. Turn around. No, don't look at the damage you've wrought. Sit down. There we go. You be a good boy. <laughs> What am I going to do with you? <laughs> Thank you for the scratches, everybody. <laughs> Pillock. Right. I mean, he picked the best time to do it because you folks have got a, a great view on the, the screen there. And uh, just bit of my thumb there while I uh, refocus the camera for Porthos. Okay. Now to play this one-handed. <laughs> Thank you for the scratches, Grox. Oh, cool! <gasps> there it is. I see it. Hey, Rosspot, how you doing, friend? <sighs> okay. Oh, we got a um, a baby gate to stop Porthos from coming upstairs when we first got him. And he barreled into it, knocking it out of the wall. Um, and we went, you know what? It is not worth the hassle. Sod it. <laughs> I mean, I know in your instance, Prime, but you've got a very good reason to stop him from jumping up at things. But, uh, yeah... No mere barrier can stop Porthos. Porthos is just muscle and derp, yeah. He's like a himbo, but a doggo. Oh, what a sweet pea. I do hope he's um, back to full operational status soon. Oh, wow, you've actually damaged my keyboard, Porthos. Okay. Broke my toe on a baby gate. Ouch. A dog bow. Yeah, exactly. Or a dog -a bow, which makes him like a chocobo. But. Okay. Here goes. I don't know what I'm supposed to press there. I don't know what button that is. Anyone figure it out? Is it Q? No. Zero? No. J? It's J! Nice one, Cyborg. Yes! Hang on. Oh. Oh, okay. Curses, I wasn't fast enough. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, what? Did I do that? No, okay, it's the music. Oh, yeah! Oh. Hey, bada bada bada, swing bada bada. Yes. of the visors remind me of the intel ad for the bunny suits oh my god yes you know what i'd really like to do like get a cosplay group together and one of us be narita boy and a couple of people come as sword priests how fucking cool would that be like with um modified led visors and everything Mm. Oh shit, you can see me on camera sort of now. I should probably stop with the, you know, 
the hand gestures. But just Puffles, what are you doing, sweetie? Like he's like proper leaning leaning into me and hiding behind me at the same time. Okay, I just I need to do this because this music is so fucking good. <laughs> I'm glad you think so, Mortel. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. That sword is so cool. I want to make the sword. It wouldn't be the first time I've made a sword. It won't be the last. <laughs> Just keep the cat on faintly the entire stream. I am tempted because I am that cat playing this game. Seriously. Oh my god, I'm vibing hard. <clears throat> <laughs> Press once to activate shotgun, or hold down to activate ultra beam. Same prime bait. Each of these attacks needs a different number of cartridges. This will re recharge over time. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <clears throat> Didn't have enough cartridges. <laughs> okay, the shotgun doesn't have very good range. It is a shotgun blade, yeah. Like, if I could make a sword with a sound chip in it, I'm, I'm not that good, but if I could make a sword with a sound chip in it, I would make a sword, uh, I would make the techno sword with a sound chip in it, so that it made the right noises for the right motions, because that would be so cool. Oh shit! I misjudged that jump a little bit. Actually, you know what? I certainly wouldn't complain. I can play with the controller, that's good. They have actually put the controller support in for the demo. Fabulous. Jump feels really weird now though, because I've gotten used to how it feels with the keyboard. There we go. There we go. And I don't know the controls anymore. <laughs> Shit. Um... Okay. Can't do that. I thought I could. Can't. I thought that was a wall jumping area. Oh! Oh no, it is a wall jumping area apparently. That's where I'm supposed to go. Um. Hmm. My sound is going to go. That'll be my headphones going up there. Going to sleep, I wager. Yep. There we go. Didn't cut out for you folks though, so we're all good. Uh, I'm just gonna check the controller mapping. Okay, I can't. Oh, I can. View controls. Here we go. Oh, you bugger. <clears throat> Classic. Jump is A. Yep, got that one. X is attack. B is interact. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, okay. Um, was I just being dumb? I might have just been being dumb. I was just being dumb! I mean, what else is new? But... I can dodge things now. Use dodge to escape offensive attacks. Left bumper. Shiny. I can dodge in the air. And I can completely miss and die. Bye. Now you get to watch me all being shit at it. Oh shit. Thought we were gonna fall off the edge then. Son of the Trichroma, you've reached the first totem. As you know, you must penetrate the creator's memories. Every time you release a memory, it will return to the creator. Meditate in the mists of the code and connect to the creator's honor. Oniric flow. That was a hard one. When you connect, the totem will open and allow you to visit the Hall of Memories. You know what, Porthos? I put Porthos cam on so folks can see you and you're hiding behind me. <coughs> Penetrate. I knew someone were going to say it. I thought it were going to end up being me. I'll tell you what, folks. Seeing as he's being a coward tonight. Bye. Please excuse my scruffiness. Is there any way that I can get you a better view of him that doesn't include my microphone? There we go, you can sort of see him now, can't you? And hopefully you can still hear me okay. It may. Hey, look, there he is in the background. Is he? Okay. Paul for you, chap. Is he doing horns or is he flipping the bird? I can't tell. I mean, I'm guessing it's horns because everybody else was doing it and it's. Um... The, the, and they were the, the, the priests, so... <laughs> yes! <laughs> One of those things. Hey, Splat. And now he sits down. Fucking typical. still but you know we're all here for the dog really okay son of the trichroma you've reached the first totem as you know you must penetrate the creator's memories every time you release a memory it will return to the creator isn't this just what we got from the other side yeah it's exactly the same but I did that. Do I have to do it again? Oh, oh, oh. Silly me. Okay, so we found our first not broken totem. Good start. Well, this is, uh cheerful This is 
not the weirdest thing I've done today, but still pretty fucking weird. Remember kids, walk through people's memories. You learn more that way. My name is Lionel Pearl Nakamura. I was born in Narita, a city located in the prefecture of Chiba in Japan. They say that the summer I came into the world was a very hot one and the sound of cicadas particularly resonating. But I don't remember that. Nor do I remember that my father was American a guy Cockerjin, and that apparently, on the day, on that day, he was particularly troubled by his work. It looks like his dad works on arcade cabinets. We did the thing! We did the thing! We learnt a little bit about the creator. I get a little nervous every time it does this, because um, every time there's a cutscene or something like that, it says it's not responding, <laughs> and I panic that the game's gonna crash. The last message. Did I? This one? Because that was just the same as... Yeah, that's just that again. Or was there another one in here that I didn't see? In the memory? Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, bugger. Oh well. I suppose that leaves something for us to uh, discover when I... Because I will stream this when it comes out. <laughs> As if anybody ever doubted that. Um, yeah, I suppose that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, mammy! Ah, fuck! I was woefully unprepared for that. Yeah, the flight music is really good. Oh, that was a bad hit. Okay, this could get a little repetitive, and I'm sorry about that. Ugh, there we go. Okay, that's one of the um, things to get to Baba. Unlocked. Here, brother, this is the access techno key to our garden. Yay, we get to go to the garden! Once in the garden, contact the quantum med meditator. He has a techno key that you'll need. 
Poor Thos. I need to sit in this chair too. Take the opportunity to meditate with him. Transcending at his side and walking the paths of the Trichroma in the light of his luminous code is one of the greatest experiences the Digital Kingdom has to offer. Ooh, nice. Okay, back we go. Oh, I did it again. I'm a pillock. There we go. Well, that could have ended horribly. <laughs> He got me. Oops. That wasn't quite what I intended to do. And that didn't work either. I need to learn to actually judge my um, remaining cartridges. Like this guy, fuck him. He's all the way over there. I ain't going back for him. I've got about that much of the chair for my ass. The rest of it's dog. It's his chair now. You can tell because he's gone to sleep on it. Again, that could have ended horribly. I'm really glad it didn't. <clears throat> oh, go on, cyborg. Those are so cool. Cheeky boofer. Yeah, exactly. Cheeky little bugger. Boop. Yeah, this, this game is just so pretty. It, everything about it is just gorgeous. You can tell a lot of love has gone into it. I'm really very excited for this to actually come out. This will be a, a really fun game. Too far. There we go. Three algorithmic altars must be activated. This triad, as powerful as the trichroma itself, will activate the transcriber of the symbols. This machine, created by the agents of the capital, allows you to transcend to other regions of the code using the power of the transcendent symbols. We call them jump patterns. Take a good look at the trichroma's fundamental symbols, the metaphoric expression of its beautiful code. 
There are always three. Remember, three. One for each beam. Activate the three algorithmic altars. Hey, sheepy. <gasps> sheepy teleporter. I've turned your teleporter off. What are you going to do now? Nothing, apparently. Alright. Do you think that's a timed thing? Because I'm just going to fuck about with shit until... Um... This garden is pure inspiration. Cycles of stress. Fragments of anxiety. Are you writing unstable code? Then come down here. Connect to the computer and flow. The best lines of code in all the digital kingdom have been written right here. Neat. You see me. Oh. Can't do that one. It's a cute little cyber bunny. It makes little squeaky noises. Bye, little bunny. I'm not a bunny. Cyber bun. Yeah. I like the cyber sheepies as well. Look how cute they are. Like, I'm gonna stop and look at them and admire how adorable the slime sheep are every time I see them. That's two. Are there any... What have we got over here? Beep. Oh, yay! Yeah, true. Be all three. With a sheepy next to it. That was really pretty. Can I talk to you? Evidently not. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, I am a lagomorph. talk to you again? Hmm. Is there a wall I can climb? Yes. But I can't get up to it. Oh, maybe I can't climb that. I don't know. I just have to find the quantum meditator. Why do I get the feeling that's the quantum meditator? Okay, no, I can't. Uh, go here over the map. Shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> Science. Oh, there we fucking go.
Oh shit, no, I know how to do this. Hang on. Eh. Blue square, red dots, yellow square. description quick time events really arcadey as well that's really cool <gasps> holy shit you're a big bugger aren't you can you feel the trichroma in every pixel of your idle state we are nothing more than lines of etheric code in a non-space, non-time continuum. We are computation, eternal inputs and outputs, a light that goes out, a flag that activates. Here, this is the techno key that will open the entrance to Baba's cave. She's also a great meditator, as patient as time itself. She always knew you would come and has lived thousands of iterations in deep meditation. Sometimes I feel her code flowing through circadian functions. Please give her my regards. Got the techno key. We can go visit Baba. Big friend, yeah. Very big friend. That was cool. That was really cool. I like that. This game is so fucking pretty. <laughs> and it's not it's not like it's style over substance either. It's got some bloody good substance to it too. Like damn, this is good. Caught me by surprise just how big they were though. Oh shit. That was an awkward place to spawn, wasn't it? That could have been really bad. Bye. Oh shit. Went a bit too far then. And I'm gonna regret that later, I know I am. Right, let's go see what all this fuss is about. Oh, we're walking. Hello, Baba. Ah, I was sure of it, Narita boy. I always knew the trichroma would distill its essence in barely 20 pixels of condensed power. In the source code I read, I commented lines that, that made me suspect that a hero would be compiled to rebalance the beams of the trichroma. And along with other programs, I have been awaiting you. They call us the Believers. But my brothers, who flourished in this cave, have gradually switched off. Only I, Baba, remain. A program who has always awaited you. Oh yeah, you can see her brothers in the background there as well. That's, that's pretty fucking bleak. Before giving you the techno key you're after, I must ask of you a favor. Recently, since the arrival of him and his stallion forces, a suspicious event has appeared in the portal. Yep, that looks pretty sus. Can you help me investigate what it's all about? Maybe we'll have time to stop another outpouring of stallions in this region. We must contain them at all costs. 
Okie doke, cyborg. Night night. Thank you for popping in. <laughs> it's a friendly portal to friendland. Yeah. Super friendly. Oh, it ate me. Well, this is, uh, pink. Horror dimension, beta maximum prime. Oh, you're big. Hello. <laughs> Lord VHS. Yes. Ha 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 ha. You are the digital hero. How can him be scared of a sprite no bigger than 20 pixels in size? When I'm done with you and I bring him your techno sword, I'll sit at the table of the stallion commanders. You're going to learn the meaning of pain with a capital P. I'm Lord VHS, one of the barons from the dimensions of horror. What's so horrible about VHSs? Die. I mean, that's one way to say hello. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, this boss music. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Because I'm just... I'm too excited. Oh, shit. Oh, mammy. Where did he go? Oh, shit. That was awkward. Yep, I died. I told you. than I thought it was gonna be, I've got to admit. I thought he was gonna, like, completely fuck me up repeatedly, rather than just the first time. I mean, it would touch and go for a minute, wouldn't it? But... Oh, that's the end of the demo! No! No, come back! Oh. Yeah, I was thinking that. Um, that's a really interesting way of doing a hit bar. So... <sighs> that that's that's the Narita boy demo. Holy shit. <laughs> um I think I need a cold shower now. Uh I'm going to go back to the main menu. Um so that we can enjoy some music and if folks want I can stick around for a little bit longer and we can discuss what we've just seen. Yeah, I agree mod hell. Not enough Narita boy. Oh, that was good. I really enjoyed that. Really, really enjoyed that. Okay, so what did everybody else think? Because, let's face it, I haven't shut up about what I think. This game gonna be good, yeah, I think so too. Cover art, Major Tron vibes, yeah, exactly, Brian B. Like, when I first saw it announced on Kickstarter, it was the massive reference to Tron in the um, the header art that made me go, I'm backing that. And I do not regret that decision. Can't wait, the demo's awesome. Tie game, major Tron vibes. Yeah, exactly. Didn't catch a lot, but it looked cool. Ugh. So I really love this menu song as well. Do 
Japanese religion nods are cool as well. Yeah, it's... I think that the way the... The idea of sort of... Um, Shinto religion and... Buddhist religion and technology have been seamlessly melded together in this. It's just... Oh, yes. Chef kiss. Um, really good. The art's beautiful. The music's fucking glorious. This is the thing that has had the demo in the um, Steam Game Festival that I am most excited about. And now I hope you all can understand why it is I was so desperate to play this on stream for you all. Because I don't think it's really had that much traction outside of Kickstarter. Um, and I don't know if it was it really had that much traction within Kickstarter. I know it hit its goal and then some, but it's been quite radio silence and I wanted to share this with folks that probably didn't see it. Cuss. <sighs> anyway, I'm totally calm. Totally calm. <laughs> Such a good song. Yeah, exactly, Mod Hale. It's all just... Oh, they've really put thought into it. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> okay. With that being said, let's see who's won a copy of this game when it comes out. RNG! Congratulations, you have won a copy of Narita Boy when it comes out. Yay! <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, um, also, the devs are on Twitter. They have a Twitter account. Uh, I tagged them in my go live tweet. Uh, Studio Koba Game is the, um, the Twitter handle. Drop them a message. Tell them that you've seen the demo and that you're really looking forward to it. Um, especially with these kind of indie projects, especially when they've been go going for so long. That little bit of feedback can be really, really good for them. Like, you know, just helps them keep going. So, yeah. T if you if you love this as much as I do, tell them. I'm sure they'd be happy to hear. Oh, yeah, I just left Vibing Cat on. Totally forgot. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. Ugh. Oh. That was so good. I'm so glad I got to share it with you all. I'm just very emotional right now. <laughs> Such a fucking dweeb. I'm so sorry. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna put us through to the ending screen so we won't be able to see beautiful vibing cat anymore. But he'll still be there in our hearts. And I'm still here, doing my terrible dancing. I dance like Commander Shepard. Right, massive thank you everybody for coming along this evening. I know it was completely unexpected. I hope you've had a good time. Um, and I hope my incessant flapping wasn't too much for anybody. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you, if you enjoyed this, then do let the developers know. Um, the expected release date is early 2021. So at some point between now and June, probably. Um, yeah. Right. I don't know if anybody else is live. Probably not at this time of night. Um... That ain't Twitch, that's Twitch. Oh, actually, we got some people live. So what I'm gonna do is 
We're gonna raid bread. When it's done. Yeah, when it's done, TM. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. So, if this works. No. Okay, apparently my um, raiding bread button doesn't work. So, that's fun. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill the music. That sucks. Oh, actually. No, I don't. Haha, -ha, I've got a phone. Get on the phone. There we go. Right. So, as always, folks, I want you to take care of yourselves. I want you to take care of each other. I want you wash to wash your fucking hands. And tonight especially, remember, it's good to be excited about shit. Right. You go and have fun with bread, folks. That sounds so weird. But you know what I mean. Take, the, uh, take care, folks. And save the world. <laughs>